the coolest email recently, and I was debating what to start with as I speak to 300 plus of my peers, leaders of companies in the Bay Area here. People tell me I'm pretty good at speaking. <laughs> I'm looking at 300 leaders. I know you're told it. I get to work with a lot of leaders. We, we get given the shine job, don't we? We're good, you're good, boss. Everything you say is good. Well, I want to applaud you, you're really good. Are we? The term we use within Decker of behaviors to be aware of. Of all this list, we're not gonna cover them all of today, but I want you to look through the list and think about your own habits. We gotta get out this emotion and pull that emotion in our, in our clients and who we speak to. This is part of our Decker grid system. It's the first part of it, but it's by far the most important. These are the cornerstones and it shapes where you go with your message. And I'm gonna start right in the middle around listeners. Too often we, and I think Regina even said this, that we, we think all about us and our data and, and the portfolios and what we're gonna say. We don't think enough about the audience. How did that feel? When you're speaking to someone and they look away, how did that But you can see where this is going, where we all want to be, inspire, up and to the right, that we connect, but we're also shifting our content about them. Now, I've noticed all of the six or seven business units in the room, and you might think, well, I'm not here to inspire about the legal piece of it or the, the IT. So if inspire is too strong of a word, just twist it to influence. That's got to be the mindset. You are not here just to inform people about work happy. You're here to influence them. And that's how we are. That's what we have to do. If I, <laughs> if I say chin but show cheek, you will follow what you see. If I tell you you did a great job last quarter, I'm really proud of you. You guys are an amazing group. But I do it with this face and that tone. What do you believe? That's an inconsistent message. And that happens predominantly in business. And we just don't know we do it. So let's have no more missed opportunities. I mean, that's the key thing. At this level that most of this room's at, every touch point is a big one. And it's a missed opportunity if you don't excel at it, if you don't get people to buy into what you want them to do. And that's really what leadership is about, to think differently about communications. I'm gonna end with this, this quote, it's one of my favorite quotes, a Will Rogers quote of, even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. <laughs> I don't think that's this room because you're here. You're already part of Vistage, a majority of you. So you're doing, you're on the right track, but this is where we gotta put more attention to communication. I love 2020 vision. I love the five areas of focus that we all put down. But I will argue that you won't get those done unless you communicate well, unless you get more into that quadrant to get people to want to. Thank you for having me.